Welcome to short and crisp algo trade training from Market Secrets. If you are interested in learning end to end algo trading, use the link in the description to join our ADB program. In this episode, we are going to learn how to trial our stop losses from the script. So this was one of the requests that I was getting from most of the viewers. So I'm just going to cover it. So currently we have a script and I already executed it and we have order details already. So this is something that we have seen multiple times in the earlier episode. So I'm not going to repeat it. So I've already placed a stop loss order and I have, uh, you know, printed those order details. So if you look at here, right? So uh, there is an uh, stop loss order that was placed and that is currently, you know, uh, still in open and uh, you know i am going to get the order id so this is the order id so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to you know just modify this order okay so my client dot modify order so a lot of people are getting confused while uh, you know updating their uh, stop loss orders or while training their stop losses so that's why you know we had to have a separate session for this one so first off pass the order id so order id i just copied from the response already so i'm just pasting it now uh, there are a few other parameters that are mandatory. So price and quantity and trigger disclosed quantity and trigger price and validity. Okay, so validity is going to be just um, you know a regular and disclosed quantity as always. I'm going to put it as zero and quantity also. I'm not changing. I'm putting it as one. Okay, so only thing I'm going to change is trigger price and price, which is necessary to update, um, you know, the stop loss orders. Okay, so what we can do is like first, uh, let's update the stop loss. So whenever you trial your stop loss, right, we generally reduce, uh, you know, the price. So from 590, maybe you can switch to 580. Okay, and likewise, you need to update the price as well. So it's not mandatory, but it's always better to do this. So update 585. So um, I'm updating the price and I'm updating the trigger price. So now if I do this, uh, my order should get changed. But before we do that, let's go to the UI first and check the current order, okay? So switching to UI and if you see, there's an order already and it's actually, you know, a stop plus order with 595 and 590, okay? So let's go back to the script now. So I'm just going to remove this because this will otherwise place a new order. So I'm just removing this part and uh, then we are good to go okay i think this is wrong uh, the validity should be uh, you know either this gfd or ioc so i'm just giving it as gfd and running it again so now uh, it has been modified successfully so if you go to the ui you'll be able to see the updated order so switching back to ui and if you see here uh, this order is actually now updated so yeah so if you see here uh, it's updated to 585 and 580 so this is how you need to trial your stop losses so as per your strategy, whenever there's a need to modify any order, you can just use the modify order API and pass the appropriate order ID and the new trigger and actual price. So if you do this, your uh, stop losses can be trialed. So if you have any queries about this episode, leave it down in the comment section. Also hit the like, share and subscribe button if you like this series.